As the temperatures drop, most of us kick on the furnace. Do you have a heat pump installed, though? If so, are you using it properly? Bill Hurlbrink finds out more in today's Your House, Your Home. We received a viewer email saying they had moved into a new-to-them home that was equipped with a heat pump, but they weren't sure how to use it. First, what is it? A heat pump reverses the air conditioner's process using electricity to move the available heat from outside your home to the inside, while a gas furnace burns a fuel like natural gas or propane to generate warmth. There are advantages to both. Heat pumps would be more efficient than an old gas furnace down to until it gets to about 30 or 35 outside, and then there's not enough heat in the air to efficiently heat the house, and that's why gas furnaces get more efficient as the, as the outdoor temperature goes down compared to a heat pump. If you're new to using a heat pump, Chip says there are a couple things to keep in mind. First timers need to know that that air may not feel as hot as a furnace, and they need to understand that, that what type of backup heat they have so that they know what to expect when they switch over to that auxiliary heat button. And how do I know if I have a heat pump? The way most people know they have a heat pump is they just look at the thermostat and they see it says heat, off, cool, and auxiliary heat. The heat pump will be engaged until that auxiliary or emergency heat is activated. Then the backup form of heating, typically your gas furnace, will take over. If you have questions about how your system works, you should make a call to your heating and cooling professional. Chip also suggested checking in with your utility company as heat pump users may qualify for a reduced rate. For your house, your home, I'm Bill Hurlbrink, KCTV 5 News. And for more stories like this, go to KCTV5.com, click on the Your House, Your Home tab right along the top.